Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Are you ready to have some crinkly paper fun today? Well, let's get to it. I was really excited. I was watching Lori Girl on the Ridge and that lady is the master of the crinkle paper. And I could sit there and listen to her crinkle paper all day long. And I realized how devoid um, my world was of crinkle paper. So I wanted to make some crinkle paper. So I grabbed some glassine bags and I threw them in a small bowl with a little bit of dissolved instant, co instant coffee to give them some brownness, or you could just use regular coffee, doesn't matter, but oh, oh, listen. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I was thrilled, and it was so fast and easy, and I love the sound, and I'm like, I gotta make a million of these. So I'm go back over to my little bag drawer. Hi, Holly, how you doing? That's Holly, my African gray parrot, saying hello <laughs> to everybody. Um, so I'm out of bags. I'm out of bags. What to do? What to do? Ah, the crafter in me says, make your own bags, Sally. Okay, so, um, uh, so I made some bags and I made a little envelope and I used tracing paper. Very easy concept. It's been done before, but sort of um, newish to me and I wanted to play with it. And then I have some tips on different ways you can attach them together because sometimes tracing paper um, is a little bit resistant uh, to being glued and stuff like that or you know if you use washi tape on it and stuff like that it'll just pop off so I got some tips for you on how to put them together depending on what your supplies are so tracing paper pads are not that expensive and you can get them in Walmart or any of the art stores craft stores and things like that so my prototype this is my I'm gonna call this my crinkly envelope and uh, somebody sent me some beautiful fall leaves and I glued one on there because I thought it was amazing and it opens like that and then I just popped a little goodie inside and you can put whatever you like I happen to put this uh, little vintage um, I kind of like a postcard it says piano advertisement Stroudsburg music yeah but that's kind of cool right you can make them any size this one was very easy to make so I'm going to show you how to do that and then I made these little tiny ones Almost, they almost look like uh, Halloween bags, you know, so you could actually use these for uh, Halloween stuff too if you, if you wanted, just make bigger ones or, you know, and you could, you could seal the top or something like that. But uh, make your own bags, why not? Crinkly style. Okay, so let's do this. So what I did was I grabbed a piece. Can you see? Okay. I grabbed a piece of 12 by 12 pre dyed I guess I must have baked these at some point too boy I was brave putting this in the oven um coffee dyed tracing paper so let me just move these aside so we can see what's going on here oh look at all the paper see yeah just a bunch of uh it was very quick just I was probably actually mopping up what I had left over from regular coffee dyeing and it just went on the, the tracing paper sheets but they have that natural Crinkle sound already built in even before they're dyed. But uh, um, if you uh, stain them with a little bit of coffee, you could even spritz it on and let it air dry. It will increase the crinkle factor. Uh, these are the glassing ones. Total crinkle factor. Okay, so I can I can make this. Okay, so what I did, let's just make this guy very easy. And my technique is as follows. Very, no rocket science here. Folding in half. This is a 12 by 12 piece of tracing paper. You can get these in any size just work with what you have and I decided to keep the process as simple as possible okay just making sure my edges are squarish okay pretty easy to fold doesn't fight you too much it's like tissue paper for goodness sake okay so um, then I thought well let me just fold up the bottom and I'll just see where I want to how deep I want to make my little envelope pouch here whatever you like to call it, envelope pouch bag thing with a flap, messenger bag, whatever. <laughs> and then do my little top flapperoo. Okay, so that's my basic shape. Nothing fancy, nothing difficult about that. We just got to glue it together. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to use washi tape to hold the sides together? And that's what I did here on this guy. He's got washi tape on the, this side and this side. And I thought, well, let me try that. that. That seems easy. That should be easy. But but I know washi tape is a little tricky sometimes and it doesn't always stick to anything that has a slippery surface, like a waxish surface or anything. Although I don't know if tracing paper actually has a waxish surface, but if you want to be absolutely sure, slap, slap down some glue stick 
first, just so you know it's not going to go anywhere. And this is actually how all this happens. When I start doing this, I get this. So I'm going to try and be a good crafter today and be all neat. Not like I can't do any more damage to this thing than it already has. Okay. So first of all, we want to, you can glue the inside together or just work on the outside. I'm just going to work on the outside because I think it removes a step. Okay. There. Okay. Now let's grab some washi. Any washi will do. Washi of choice. Can you see? Yeah, I think you can see a little closer. Okay. And just put it, put it down halfway. Okay. It's probably actually better to put the loose piece at the bottom so you can just trim it off, but yeah, it is what it is at this point. Scissors. There they are. All right. Oh, I'm stuck to this thing. Okay. Yeah, totally stuck to it. Yep. All right, there we go. And we're free. We can always trim it up in the end. All right, so now let's flip it over. And if you actually glue the washi tape, then you're going to be the exact width you need to be. Now, that, that sounds very, very fancy stuff there. Highly technical. All right, and then just fold it over. Then you don't get extra glue on your paper here, which is kind of nice. Now, if I was in perfect alignment, I could have gotten that perfectly, but that rarely happens in, in my world. So we'll just run with it. Running. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. And, and if that's like a little bit sticking out, I'm just going to put that there. There we go. We handled that. See? <laughs> All right. Let's do the other side. That was easy, right? Just gluing these together. Just working on the outside. Um... I don't know if there's a way that I can probably, but let's just put some glue down. All right. This is where I think it's going to be. And so I'm going to start here with the edges and go down. Okay. Glue that on. Come along. I'll trim it later. Can you see my all over the place? Sorry. Um, trying to be mindful. Oh, take that out of the way. Oh, no. I need that. <laughs> Okay, glue the washi. Whoa! <laughs> Sometimes things get away on me. All right. Um, and then, all right. Everybody stay together. Oh, caca again. Okay, that's all right. It's okay. Fold it over and we are sealed. Amazing, isn't it? Um, so maybe it's time to pull out the washi again. Maybe you have uh, went through the uh, washi bonanza extravaganza that a lot of us went through and we bought like rolls of this stuff just had to have it and uh okay so we have the oh, let me back up for you sorry we have the bag you know that's easy enough right and it's got the crinkly sound we're loving that we're loving that okay so now to do this part hmm okay i thought what well, maybe i don't really need all that washi maybe i could just glue these two pieces together here so i came along and i did that and then i came along and I just smooshed some glue because I wanted to see because maybe I thought maybe the glue stick will hold in between because it feels kind of rough in there. It might grab. Let's see what happens. So I did that and you know, voila, it held. Oh, I'm all stuck to this. Over there. <laughs> so, you know, you could probably just glue the sides down. You don't actually need the washi, but washi is a nice addition a layering up another thing a way you can use up your washi and also add a little bit more decor <clears throat> then i thought oh we need a little something on the front there missy looking a little a little plain and uh, a lovely subby sent me these beautiful i mean i just want to go in here and roll around with these leaves and um, um i'm just gonna grab one and they have still have like a little a little moisture in them so they're not super crinkle and that means that I can glue it down easily and it should be just fine. Yeah, it's a pretty one. Look at that. How pretty is that? Oh, loving it. Okay, so for that little munchkin, I am going to use Fabrifix. It's a clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Works really well. Um, it is one of my favorite glues, but definitely try out all the glues yourself. See what you think. I mean, everybody has different desires and needs in the glue world. I understand. I understand. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. There we go. Little bits come off. I can live with that. I can live with that. It's nature. Okay. Got that so far, right? Now, maybe we want to put a little, um, bidoop or something there, right? Right? Hey, 
Where'd my Badoop go? My Badoop is gone. Hang on, I gotta go get another Badoop. Okay, I found an alternative Badoop. And uh, this one is actually a bed sheet. It was a white bed sheet that I tore up and then I coffee dyed and then just daubed some different uh, ink daubers on it, rent random. So it has, it picked up some different um, colors all over the place. And I thought that was just kind of fun. It was just fun. So I'm gonna glue that there. Use Fabrifix. Okay. Oh, the sticky on me will have a hangover just a tad. Can you see? Huh? Okay. And we'll just trim that. Very easy. And this is just a fun way to, I mean, out of one tracing paper book, you're going to be able to make tons of bags, which is going to be a lot less expensive than buying the glassine bags themselves. So if you enjoy the process of making little bags and envelopes, um, I highly recommend it. It's a very satisfying uh, craft. And then you can put whatever you like in it. You know, I mean, uh, the world's your oyster at this point. And, uh, you know, maybe you want to put some circles in there. I don't know. I know whatever you want to put in there. Just pop them in there and they are good to go. And this actually has another little pocket in front. It's very thin. You could seal these together with more glue or you could pop something in here like that or or random idea coming here. Um, you know, the shaker idea. Well, we could incorporate a built in shaker with some sequins. Do you ever you like collect these things and you're wondering what, why did I buy those? Why? Why? Because what on earth am I going to do with these things? Well, shakers are a great way to use them. So you, you grab some. You're not really thinking about it too much. You just grab them because you, you got to use this stuff up, right? Yeah. Okay. So you grab some and then you put it in the first pocket. Let me show you the first pocket. See, first pocket, second pocket. So put them in the first pocket. I've never done this before. So oh, I think one went in the second pocket. That's okay. So there we go. We have some in the first pocket. Now we need, we need to seal that, right? <laughs> or else somebody's going to have a lovely surprise when they get this. I would say use uh, some type of glue stick or glue with a, a point so you can get in there and just glue it shut. And there we go. Or you could even come along with another piece of washi and just go across the top like, like this and just seal that. Up. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Now stop talking about it, Pam. Just do it. Do it. Show them. Show them. Okay. All right. Here we go. And then what can you do with these little pouches, pockets, envelope things? You can clip them to any page in a journal. You can uh, use them in Happy Mail. I mean, they're just fun to have around. Let's face it. These things are adorable and they crinkle. And who doesn't love a good crinkle? You know? You know? All right. So I'm gluing that down with my extra glued in washi. Now, those are not going to come out. Let's do the test. Okay. Now, one may fall out there. There's that one lone soldier that's jumped into the back pocket. We are good. Yes. So we have, we have that. We have shaker bag combo envelope thingy. And I think I put a word on here. So let's put a word. Where's my prototype? Yeah. Here's prototype. I, this is actual bed sheet again. I just stamped some words on it and I think I just drizzled, I drizzled some coffee um, on it when I had it a uh, separate by itself. Um, okie dokie. Where are you? Let's find a nice color of uh, black. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm the purple. Okay, we want purple. We'll do purple. I'm not going to argue today. No. Okay, it's a fall color, so we're doing fall. All right, now, there we go. There we go. Now we're journeying. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, let me find my little brown ink dauber. What? My gremlins are really acting up today. Okay, got my ink dauber and I think I'm just going to extra ink it around the edges to give it more of a hue. A lot more hue. You got to be careful you don't tear it. It is tracing paper, so just remember that. But remember, even a book page can tear, so, you know, it's, it's not the worst thing. And, you know, if it tears, what do you do? You slap some washi tape on it. Yeah. Um, okay, there we go. So how cute is that, right? Just adorable. I mean, you could put something else here, like, I don't know, something. I'll put something there. A butterfly? Wrong season. Okay. Um, well, we'll just leave that as is, you know. No, no, we're going to put something. 
<laughs> the way this crafting goes. I've got to put something. Okay, let me find. I got a lot of this stuff. Oh, I've just found another life word. I'm just hanging out here. So maybe I'm going to add life again. It's just hanging out there in my palm. Maybe I'm going to put it there. So that, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to be a little artsy fartsy and put it over there. I could actually, I could put it on the leaf too. That'd be cute. But no, I want to show the leaf. It's pretty. I'm going to put it there and just call that very, you know, hey, look at how artsy fartsy that was. That's pretty cool. Off center and maybe even cockeyed. Look at me. Wow. There we go. All done. Yeah, very easy, very fun. Okay, so we'll put that aside and we'll put that with prototype. All right, sunshine is out from underfoot. Oh, I, I found a chair that I can use in here. Thank God, it was so hard to sit, stand up all the time crafting. Okay, what, what time is it? Stop talking. Um, let's gonna make these little guys and they also are made from a 12 by 12 piece of paper that I started with, but you probably could use other sizes as well. Um, so these are cute, um, just cute little bags little scallop top, um, tube design, and different ways to close them. So if you're thinking, hey, I just like to crank out a bunch of really cute little crinkly bags, this is your ticket. Okay, so let's make the first one. All right, where'd I put, okay, grab a piece of that stuff. All right, so I think I cut, whoop, you can't see anything, sorry. Okay, there you go. I think I cut about a third of this off. Wasn't really measuring. Um, I'll go there. So I'm just cutting about a third. I didn't super measure anything, but I, it's about a third. Maybe, yeah, about a third. And then what I did was I made the tube. You know the tube. Oh, here we go with the tube. The tube. So many things you can make with the tube. Okay, so we do that. Fold that down. Make in our tube. Put a little, come in with the glue stick. It's very handy here because we're gonna we're gonna washi tape this down okay let's fold this over this will make how wide our little bag is so just decide how wide you want your little bag i just want small bags maybe i want to put a couple bags on a page or something like that and that's very cute right now you could you could totally come in here and just glue stick that little edge down but what i'm going to do is because i'm going to use washi tape is i'm going to come down and just run the glue stick right down here over the crease, over the connection of the tube. That's where my washi is going to go. Okay. And now I've got some washi, different washi here. Use this stuff up, bam. Use it up. Use it up. Okay. Put it over there. All right. All right. Enough of the saving of the pretties. You know what I mean? I am so over that. Let's just go forth and use our pretties because, uh, just remember, that's why you bought it. You bought it to use it and play with it. What? I, what do you save it? I know, I know, I hear you, I hear you, but it's okay. It's okay to use your pretties. Pull them out. Just pull them out and just go full tilt, reckless abandon, and use your pretties. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, here we go. Now we have that. And maybe I'll just trim this off. So it's kind of nice. You can just come along and trim the bottom. You don't have to make it exact or anything. And just give it the old finger smoosh that makes it really stick and now we have a nice tube and that means we have a potential for as many bags as you would like in here so I made well let's make three because I have three things I want to show you okay so I just I just cut them in thirds let's just say uh, here and um, here okay all right that'll work so I got three pieces not measured all different heights that's just the way I roll. And uh, the first one, I thought, well, let's continue with the washi. Well, you're way too far away. Come closer. Um, let's continue with the washi theme. Okay, let's use the washi to seal it. So taking the bottom, this is just a very easy bottom to put on any, um, any little bag. Okay, so just, you know, grab a piece of washi. I don't know. It's probably too much. I don't know. There. Okay. And uh, let's use our glue again, just so we have adherence. I know I should have something under this. Oh, well. And I'm a bad crafter. There we go. Oh, don't move now. Okay, there. And then come on over here. Oh, stay still. Stop wiggling. All right. <laughs> and we're done. Okay, so that was pretty easy, right? Quick and painless. And um, a little scissors. Closer. Okay, just trimming. Trimming. There we go. And then I just took the 
scalloped edge scissors um, and just give it a little topperoo. And you don't, you don't even have to do that, but um, I just thought that was kind of cute. So, little Adorbs crinkle bag. Uh-huh, uh-huh, so cute, right? Okay, so we have one. Just put that aside. I'm, I'm really loving these. I could just sit here all day and make these, and I'm not kidding. This could be highly, highly addictive. Okay, so the next one is sealed by stapler. That's right. Let's say, oh, I don't have washi. That's great, but I don't have washi. Okay, don't worry about it. We're going to get you through this. Got a stapler. Okay. All right. We'll try that. Okay. So what I did was I turned it over and I don't know. I, I was, I was thinking maybe doing a little um, coin envelope style thing, but I thought, okay, I'm not even fussing with that right now. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Uh, I just feel like making bags, lots of bags. Let me make bags. So here we go. So I, I did like the beginning of the, uh, coin envelope bottom but instead of cutting this extra piece off and all that fuss fuss I just came in here because this paper is so thin you don't really need to worry about it too much don't over worry it don't overthink it just fold it down and then come in there with a stapler what regular stapler will work I just have that little Tim Holtz tiny attacher thingy but uh two staples will do ya and you're pretty much done yep and that is cute right so you're whoop, whoop, whoop. A little slippery little devil okay so you got that and uh, you could put something across the back did I did I no I just wanted to show you what it looked like just like that so you could put something to cover this if you're concerned about the staples catching but yeah I'm not and um, now this one maybe I want to do a round top so I'm gonna fold so it comes out the same side same on both sides oops okay try that all right so this one has a little roundy top how cute is that right Mm, oh, I really want to make these now for Halloween. All right, I really do. Um, but they would look so cute in a journal. Let me even look journal. Um, I mean, you could you could glue them on like this, you know, and you could tuck things in them. How cute! Like pulling out from the side. That would be really adorable. Um, you could do them like that. That would be cute. You could even layer them. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. You could do something like that. That would be cute too, right? Okay, so let's do the next type. Hmm. The last type. Okay, so we did washi, we did staples, and now we're going to do, this was, this was, uh, you got nothing. I got no staples. I got no washi. What am I going to do, Pam? Grab some book page. Just grab a, any piece of paper that you can tear. These are so thin and so easy to work with that it doesn't take much to hold it down. So this time I did not cut off those edges. I just folded this little kimosabi up and scorched it. And then I, okay, I, this is where I should have gone to my scrap box, but no, I looked in my garbage, which is right beside me. And I reached down there and I say, hey, I can do something with this. And I just thought, well, I could just grab, I could just tear a little strip and uh, use that. Why not? Okay. I thought, okay, I can do that. So I'm tearing, tearing, just something that looks long enough to hold it. And uh, then I'll ink it up a little bit and I'll use this as my binding. Um, I'll throw the rest of that away. I can do it. I can throw things out. Yes, I can. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's my um, dauber right where I left it. And I'm just doing this to <clears throat> have it pop a little bit, but it's a great way, excuse me, to use up your bits and bops and, and your bits and bops, you can create them literally out of nothing. So, you know, I don't know, maybe it's going to cost you a couple bucks or, you know, three, four, five bucks or something for the tracing paper thing, or you can find it at the thrift store. I have found a lot of tracing paper books at the thrift store. So, you know, when you see them, grab them because they're, they're, they're craft or gold, craft or gold. So I'm just going to come along here and I'm going to glue this. All right right on my craft mat bad crafter bad bad crafter okay and i'm just going to glue this down and that's going to seal the whole deal there we go yep here we go all right and done i mean what yeah we don't need fancy stuff we could just play and um all right let's give this guy a little maybe we'll do angle cuts with you and just leave the top plain let's see what that looks like Oh, that's pretty too. Look at that. That's cute. Okay, so we can leave it like that. So you can see how fast these can come together. Um, very quickly split, you know. Um, so let's let's show you what we made. 
and I'm hoping to inspire you to make some little bags. And if you don't, if you have glassine bags, awesome. Um, if you, they already have natural crinkle factor, but if you throw them, look, these I did not bake, by the way. I just dipped these a little bit of uh, coffee juice. You know, probably could use regular coffee too. But um, if you use instant coffee, you'll get a, a deeper color. And um, just a little bit in a bowl with some water, dissolve it, and then mush these around so they're like half wet. You know what I mean? You've got some white and some are totally covered. Some are not totally covered. Just depends on how much it picked up. You can drown them and pull them all apart and then lay them all out too and they'll dry. There was no baking needed here, which is awesome. Yep. And uh, so let's put out our little lovelies. Okay. Do, do, do. These are the ones we made. I made before and our new ones and the old ones and oh see now I did when I made the first prototype I didn't even think about making whoop whoop where's you coming out did it I got two sequins just flew out at me hmm. oh I, th I got we have a breach we have a breach there it is right there okay so what does this require this requires crafter ingenuity we're gonna we're gonna put some more washi tape on there and so seal that hole. See that? Yeah. Okay. We're coming in. We're coming in with the big guns. Here we come. Yeah. This is live in the trenches. This is how it happens. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay. Get some glue there. So that's not going to happen. And I'm like, oh, that's what a great idea. And sequins everywhere. Oh, oh. All right. Okay. Probably don't need that much overkill. Okay. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Can you see? Yeah, I'm just patching it. And patched. Okay, that shall never happen again. Anyway, test it. Yeah, test it before you send it out or give it out. There we go. All right, all is good. We are good to go. Yeah, things happen in a wild and crazy manner here. Um, okay, so I hope you had some fun today. I, I highly encourage you to grab some tracing paper somewhere. Um, it's a lot of fun and there's so many things you can do with it. And we'll do more things with tracing paper too. But um, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again, Lori Girl on the Ridge um, for inspiring the crinkly factor. And uh, yeah, I just, I just, I, I could listen to your videos all day and just listen to your crinkle paper. I kid you not. Um, if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified of my up and or my videos as they come out. Apparently, <laughs> um, we're hoping that tool works. Um, below in the description box, you're going to find uh, links to my Amazon store with all my favorite tools and supplies. I should put some tracing paper in the Amazon store. Let me remember to do that. Um, Vintage digital kits and occasional journals and bundles and things like that can be found in my um, Etsy shop, link down below, and my newsletter, monthly emailed newsletter. It is free. You get a free digital image emailed to you monthly along with a free checklist of journal supplies that you can look for out in the world and a note from the bookmaker and junk journal tips. And my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts, which are free to listen to, come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, link below. And if you have Apple or um, Spotify or there's seven other platforms or just click the link below and boom, you're, you can hear all of them. And um, my, I, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there. Do, we do weekly and monthly challenges. And uh, so if you see me make something like this and you want to make something like this and you want to show me or you want to show us or share your ideas, that's an awesome place to do that. Plus you can see other people's ideas and how they took this idea and just ran with it and make amazing things. A lot of inspiration and very fun and friendly people over there. So come on over and create with us. And, um, or you're welcome to lurk and just hang out or ask questions, you know, that's awesome. So everything focused around creating junk journals and junk journal um, embellishments and ephemera and stuff like that. So we have a lot of fun. And remember to create with reckless abandon, everybody. And fun can be simple. And let me, let me grab uh, you know who. Let me see if he can. Are you are you open? Okay, we just washed his face, so he's got like little funny face because we had to clean his eyes this morning. Okay, here he comes. All right, this is my new puppy, Sunshine. He's a little Maltese and he's a little sleepy. He's coming by for a drive by. Hello, hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a little sleepy right now, and Mom woke me up, and I I, I would really like to go back to sleep. <laughs>
Bye. <laughs> okay, so that is Sonny this morning. And uh, he is absolutely my little apple bottom angel here. He is just uh, Mr. Bumpkins. And uh, he brings such joy. Okay, he wants to come in again. There he is. Okay, yeah. All right, so everybody, you guys have a great day. No, no, he wants to. Oh, hey. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, okay. I'm going to put you down, all right? Okay. So have a great day, everybody. I hope you get lots of crafting in, lots of fun. And, uh, you know, grab what's around you. Maybe you've got leaves outside, too. Go have some fun. Take care, and I'll see you next time. We'll play some more. Bye-bye.